Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. So, this is the safety pin tag that we did yesterday. So, that was the first of this new series. And today, I've got um, the idea of sort of a memory tag. So... Let's first of all get our tag, get our safety pin. I'm going to look through these. Um, I think because of what I'm planning to do, I want the one that's got the date on it. This one here has got a date on it. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see about this. So. I've got a vintage letter here. Um, can't exactly see the date, but we can see the old king there. And it is old king now because, of course, we've gone from queen to king. So, um, so it's definitely um, more than 70 years old, isn't it? Because we had our queen for 70 years. And I've got some of the Tim Holtz photos from that paper pad. And I'm thinking that because this guy has got a cap on that could be thought of as an army or a navy or something like that. And this is obviously HMS. So it's, you know, Her Majesty's Service. So that is obviously an army or a navy letter. Um, I thought that sort of went together. And then maybe um, some of this beautiful muslin might have been the lining of a dress that was worn, say, to a party. And it might have had this, this lace over the top, perhaps. So maybe little bits of that as the memory of a dance night or something like that i'm not a hundred percent sure what the memory is but it obviously involves a letter um and a a gentleman so there you go so i've got my archival sepia and i'm gonna run that ink over the embossed white paper For anybody who didn't see yesterday's i will leave a link in the description but basically it's a new series where i'm going to do 10 videos of tags and safety pins and i explained that i'd run pieces of white card through various embossing folders to get texture on them and that they were going to be on the backgrounds so we just rub this over and pick out that wording. Love how that happens with embossing folders. Um, now yesterday's we put up in that top corner. So I don't know if today it goes in that bottom corner. Like that maybe. But we need some scissors to cut out this photo whoops it's got a snip on the corner i don't think that matters too much so we've got him and also it says departed there which sort of um works and i think that we know even with the uh uh what am i looking for the shortening of the word we know that's december because of the 1963 and the fact that um, not uh, there isn't another month, you know, that is shortened in that way. So, I'm wondering if we could get that sort of like that. This is too big. So, tear a bit more off that. And we've got our picture going along there we've got we can't even see the December now but we have got the 63 depart so I like that 
and then I'm not sure whether I just want this creamy coloured, not creamy, um, very pale pink corally uh, muslin type fabric and a piece of that lace. So it'll sort of come like that. <coughs> Take that corner off. That will come much further over. If I tear this down, we'll see more of that departed it's just lining them all up really isn't it getting them on there like that okay and then I think just a little tiny trim of this lace um, so that it looks like you know layers of a dress or an evening gown or whatever so that will sort of come under there like that yeah I'm liking it so I'm gonna put the embossed piece on to the tag directly And get that in the bottom let's just take that piece off as well that's all sticky now so it's all stuck to my fingers but hey ho these things you know sent to try us and all that right should have thought about that before i glued it now yesterday if you saw i put two holes in to put the pin through and it made the card bow and some lovely lady i'm afraid i can't remember her name commented to say that if i'd have put the holes closer together then that probably wouldn't have happened so there you go I put them much closer together today and i did i'll be honest i did test it out on um on another piece of stray card and I could see that that was going to make the difference. So I'm just using glue stick here basically to hold everything in place because I am going to put obviously the safety pin through them. This whole little series is about what we can get on a safety pin. And pop that one across there like that. And um, do I want to put the safety pin straight through? Or, obviously we don't really want to go in his face. So, put that through there. Bring it back up through. Spin this underneath like so and then that's where it is. Pin that through there. And we have this one going that way. It is still bowing a little bit. I don't know how much closer I could get them. But anyway. Oops. Now I just want to stick this back down again. So that's all stuck. That's nice. So there we go. That's number two. 
I'm actually going to take that out. That's better. That's better. So there's number two and there's number one. Now I did write the date on yesterday, so I suppose we'd better put the date on today. So this is the 10th of the 5th. 23 there we go so there's one and two and i'll be back tomorrow with number three hope as always you found some joy and inspiration thank you so much for joining me remember if you've enjoyed the video give me a like or a comment or even a subscribe and i'll see you soon ta-ta for now